My road to the playoffs, it hasn't started, you know, uh, last year or the year before. It started a long time ago. You know, as I say, being a black man coming straight out the room, it just, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot against us, you know, and uh, we gotta work, we gotta work. To potentially, and I will make a million dollars to go to the championship, win a million dollars, and be able to buy my mama a house and be able to give back to my community. And the people older than me, younger than me, that's looking up to me, it's for them to be able to see that and be excited and be inspired. That's everything to me. I was just trying to figure out a way to get out the streets and get away from all of that stuff. I met a guy at a grocery store and he was trying to sell me like tickets to a fight. And I was like, what kind of fight? He was like boxing? He was like, no, nah, MMA. I didn't know what it was at the time. This is 2009, but I was still 18 years old. So this is 2009. I was like, I want to fight. He was like, you want to fight? I'm like, yeah, I want to fight like today. He was like, man, you got to train for it. I was like, I'll kick anybody's butt. What's up? You know, let's fight. He was like, how about I'll give you a, a, a number to a trainer. You go, you check them out, see if you like it. Got my butt whooped the next day. 18 years old, humble me from that day forward, man, just being a humble guy ever since. I was just excited to just be out, you know, out of the, out of the street life, away from all of my homies doing bad stuff. It was hard for you to walk from here to there without some kind of confrontation. Yeah, I mean, I was always fighting. Kevin got in a lot of trouble when he was young. A lot of the trouble that he got in, I didn't even realize that he got into him until he was an adult and he told me about him. Dude grabbed a chair and threw it right at Calvin. And he spinned around and tried to hit me with it. Okay, all right. And then I went under and I picked him up and I slammed him. And I beat him up bad. His homies had That's me him. having a day off. I remember you was you had to get three or four mops to mop up all the blood. You <laughs> I said I had my first fight. 23 days later, I won uh, TKO in the second round. And I was like, I like this. I enjoy this. And I just kept it going, kept it going. The situations he had to grow up underneath, it, it's, it's amazing. I thought that was a lifestyle for us. I thought that's the only thing I was good for. When he won his first fight, when he got his check, first thing he did is he went, got 100 book bags, all the supplies for 100 kids, and just went door to door. All the bad neighborhoods I've been through, my mom was telling us, you know, we was telling you that we had to spend a whole summer without electricity. That was more than once. That wasn't just once. That was just in that apartment. Uh, me and Kevin, we, we've always had a very strong bond. You know, like I said, he's my baby and he's my only boy. So I probably babied him more than I did the other ones. And, you know, if, kind of like if you see him, you see me. When we didn't have lights, water, gas, food or whatever, he was always there. He was pretty much by my side. Like I said, we come from one bedroom, so for her to see a lot of these, a lot of the cameras and doing interviews and stuff like that, you know, we didn't expect it to go this far, you know, so for her to be here and, and, and to experience all this with me, it's a beautiful thing. For her to be at all the fights and hear her yell, I literally, li literally hear her over everybody. He loves this, and I'm, for the life of me, I don't know why, but he loves this, and so, and I've always told him, I, I never had any money to give him or any great advice, but I've always told him, you know, you can't listen to what somebody else tell you about your dreams. Whatever it takes, you do it, because you don't want to live a life of the coulda, shoulda, woulda. You know, you don't be 90 saying, you know, I could have been that PFL champ, but I let somebody talk me out of it. Well, I almost didn't take the opportunity, because I was coming off my Achilles tear, I, was, I think I was out for a year and a half. I was supposed to go try for the heavyweights of the UFC, or the Ultimate Fighter Show. And my manager was like, hey, you can go to the Ultimate Fighter Show, win it, hopefully win it, stay for six weeks, or you get an opportunity to fight for a million dollars. So I chose PFL. Before I got the knockout, I think the day before I fought Alan Carr, I said, Ma, this is the beginning of, this is the beginning of our career. Forget me missing weight, forget all of the old coaches, forget everybody, you know. This is the beginning of my career. I'm a heavyweight now. We're going to take it and we're going to run with it. It was just all of the stress. It was just like, yes, OK. OK, now on to the next one. He shot at me two or three times and I stuffed this tick down in the, in the second round. And then, uh, like, it's just second nature. Just I felt it. His neck was out. I'm going to grab it. You know what I mean? Um, but I love how that fight ended, though, because I want people to know that I, I do have jujitsu. I can wrestle. And I'm just getting better. My granddad, you know, he said he raised me. I was a good, he was a good man. That's my mom's dad. And he died. I got the phone call that he died like five minutes before I had to go actually weigh in, weigh in. It was a quiet ride home. It was a real quiet ride home, but I don't mind losing. 
and I think that's why I perform so well. I think a lot of these guys, they're so, they're so, they're so scared to lose. And uh, I know if I lose, if I hurt myself, I know my mom, my sister, my kids are going to take care of me. My last performance, a lot of that was, you know, for him. Cause I knew he would want me to keep going. You know, we used to watch all of the sports on ESPN. I know I had to get that win for him, man. Knowing that I was fighting on ESPN and he wasn't here, it was a boost. It was a downer, but it was also a boost. Like, I have to win this for him. I have to win this for me, too. You got to win it for my kids, you know. You know, I don't like calling guys out, but that's the fight. Uh, Dennis is the fight that I wanted. I think this is the perfect opponent for me. This is the one that gets me up. As long as I go to the playoffs, I'm okay. I just, I, I want to win impressively, though. I, I want to show the world that, that, that I am good everywhere. I really want to know, to tell them that I, I know how to take a punch. I can give a punch. I can wrestle. I really want to show the people what I can do, man.